Right, how you doing? This is condition of the month. Um, I decided not to go with an exact condition. I thought this would just be some useful information because I'm getting quite a few uh, pregnant ladies coming in that want to try and keep themselves active either during pregnancy or just after they've given birth. So this is information pretty much for anyone that's just had kids really. So how to sort of stay healthy and stay active when you've got young children. I'm going to go off my crib sheet so if my eyes occasionally drop down I do apologise but there's quite a lot of information here. What I've done is I've proceeded that, I've put it onto the website so when you see the video, jump onto the website, you'll hit all of the information there, so it's lots and lots of good information that you can use. So, first thing, um, doing exercise, you've got to remember, is great for you, okay? Especially you've just given birth, but the best thing about it is, if you're doing the exercise and your children are getting involved with you, you're teaching them healthy habits. With the onset of childhood diabetes, uh, childhood obesity, if they're getting into the habit of doing exercise from a really young age, it just becomes normal to them. So hopefully they're not going to have those problems as they get older. So cycling, lots of different ways of taking your kids cycling. Some of them are on the back. You can get those sort of rear mounted seats. You can get the ones that sit in the front. They're actually slightly better because obviously the children are looking around. And uh, to be honest, the ones that I like the most are the actual carriers. They're a bit like, uh, like a trailer system, bolt onto the back of the bike and off you go. Now, why do, I, why do I tend to think those are better? Mainly when you're actually on a bike and you've got your children there, it's a different weight. You're gonna be wobbling around and to be honest, there's the possible risk that you're gonna fall over and take a bit of a tumble. No one wants that. So the cycle carriers tend to be a lot better. They've got a little bit of structure, a little bit of a frame around them. They have um, like a, a cover over them so that you're protecting the children when they're going along. Obviously don't forget a helmet even though we're actually sitting in that frame if they pop a helmet on again you're just reducing any potential risk that could come about. Um, also try and cycle if you're going to cycle just for safety's sake try and cycle on a smooth surface. So that's that's your first one cycling. Next one is jogging. There is loads of different joggers out there we've looked at those for myself and my better half, Emma. Um, some are better than others. You want to try and get one which has got good manoeuvrability. Realistically, money talks when it comes to this. If you spend money on the jogger, you're going to generally get a good quality jogging buggy. Try and make sure that you've got good wheels. If you can get them, try to get ones that have got foam tyres, um, not the ones that have got the, um, the inner tubes, because if you get an inner tube, you get a puncture, that's it. You, you're knackered, you're going to have a jogger, you're going to be out somewhere and you're going to have the baby, the jogger and you're going to have to try and get home somebody. It's, 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 a, it's a real problem. We've, we got caught out on that one. So try and get foam wheels. Um, next thing, um, back, uh, the actual carriers, you know like backpack carriers, they're brilliant actually. I've had these in the past, used these, so when Amy was really, really young, what you do is you have a, a backpack like, like you would when you go normally camping but they have a special um, area to hold the children. When you've got those, make sure that they're comfortable, make sure the children's legs can, can dangle down, they're not scooched up actually in there, because they can be uncomfortable. If you're walking for a long period of time, make sure that there's nothing, no, no clothing or anything rubbing up against them, because again, it's gonna be uncomfortable for the child when, when, when you're walking, they're gonna be moving that, um, that cloth or that, that fabric rubbing up against them. Also try and get one that's a little bit higher so that they can see over your shoulders because obviously it's got to be enjoyable for the children as, as well as it is for yourself. The biggest thing, when you actually choose one of these backpack style um, child carriers, make sure you've got really good shoulder supports and really good hip supports. If you've got the shoulder and the hip supports for yourself, you're going to reduce any liable, uh, liability with regards to back problems and neck and shoulder problems, and that, that really is going to be important for you. So, he says, turning the page with the next bit of information. Baby slings. I think these are fantastic. Baby slings are absolutely superb. However, I do see people jogging with baby slings on. Big no-no. 
Baby slings are designed to make things easy for you walking around. It keeps the child close to you and keeps that sort of maternal bond that, that children really desperately need when they're, when they're younger. The problem is they tend to put a bit of a curl on the spine. If you're running or jogging with a baby sling on, it's going to put massive amounts of strain on the neck, on the shoulders of the child. You really, really don't want to do that. So um, they're my, my little tips of advice with, with regards to doing some exercise when you've got young children. Obviously, don't forget there's other things that you can get children involved with. Uh, yoga, again, you can get your kids involved with yoga. There's also Pilates. Um, some of you may know that I'm into CrossFit. Do look up CrossFit Kids. It's excellent. It's literally proper exercise for children to get them into good, clean, natural movement patterns to just try and get those little muscles working properly and put some load on the actual bones to try and strengthen those bones up. So that's, that's absolutely superb. You, you, I cannot honestly sort of say how good it is. Go and look it up. CrossFit children, wonderful. Above all else, when you're doing any exercise with your kids, try and look after yourself as well. Picking children up, when you pick them up, keep them close to your body. When you're bending down, scooch down, keep your, heel, keep your weight on your heels, and then lift up and turn with the actual child close to your body. Because if you're doing anything other than that, you're gonna be putting strain on, on yourself. So it's great protecting your kids, but if you're not protecting yourself, you can't do any more exercise and they lose out as well. So they're my tips and hints for this month. Um, I'm gonna put all the information on the website. Go to the website, www.spinalcarecentre.co.uk. Go to the actual information section. You'll find it. There's loads of information there. And yeah, have fun and I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.